What's going on YouTube world? So I said I'd have to do a part three uh, of this video series. Basically I'm doing the most basic operations process that you can possibly do. Uh, because I have to hold the camera, I got a special guest engineer, Chanel. Uh, she's going to run the trains while I do the videoing because I don't have enough hands <laughs> uh, so basically like I said this is part three uh, we're going to take all the cars that are on that inside main and we're going to put them into the industries if you've watched part one and part two you would know that we've taken all the cars out of the industries and we had them staged on this outside main over here uh, an engine came through in part two and brought I think it's part two uh, one of the two videos uh, an engine came through and brought us our new cut of cars from the yard and staged those on the inside main uh, and then as you can see the outside main cut of cars has already been taken back to the yard uh, so now at this point we have to take all these cars and we got to put them back into the industries uh, so that we're ready to roll so Miss Chanel are you ready mm -hmm. alright well let's get this party started then uh, you look like you have it in the right direction so let's pull forward there you go this uh, this part of the layout is an original 4x8 sheet that I started with oh my goodness probably about 20 years ago almost uh, I've done some upgrades on the scenery just to kinda just to kinda update it and, and make it make it look nice I've done a lot of a lot of work with the greenery uh, changed out the green building to a different green building added a lot more vegetation we did a couple of little spots uh, still a lot of work to do yet been working on a lot of detail work go ahead and stop the train you know thank you worked on a lot of detail work lately uh, just trying to update it upgrade it make it look like it's supposed to look and uh, go ahead and pull forward Chanel the basic purpose of this video series is for somebody who's just starting to get to this point where they think I don't want to just run the trains around the track anymore I want to do an operation process go ahead and stop the train Chanel and uh, they're like, well, what's the simplest way that would mimic what a railroad would do? Not necessarily the most realistic, but when you're just getting started, you want something simple. This is it. Go ahead and back the train up. What we're going to do, is we're going to take that uh, sawdust car that comes from the sawmill over there. We're going to put it over here on this siding and it will go right there on the siding and that's what replenishes your sawdust pile for the paper mill and as I said this is a 4x8 sheet so it's not a it's not a big section of the layout so we don't operate real fast we go nice and easy uh, just to kind of stretch the operations out a little bit and in the real life they don't really travel real fast on these sidings and spurs too often that's good Chanel stop let's see I should be able to uncouple if I can find it Gotta be right in there. 
There it is. All right, flip your switch. Okay, your headlights are on. There you go. Good job. That's good. Throw the switch. All right. Going in reverse now. There you go, your headlights are ready. Slow it down a little bit. Perfect. Nice and easy. And stop. That's perfect. Right there. Off. There we go. All right, global. Getting close. That's good. Stop the train. Reverse. Alright, so we've got the paper mill all set up at this point. So now what we've got is we got these four grain cars and these two box cars. Now we're going to take them over to the off-site Coca-Cola warehouse. It is a warehouse in which uh, they do deliveries. Uh, they basically uh, fill orders and uh, ship the stuff out to different places. Uh, very common amongst the Coca-Cola company process. I know I worked there for 20 years so they don't necessarily always own their own buildings there are definitely times that they will rent uh, their buildings uh, go ahead and bring it on back you know there you go uh, as I said earlier I've worked on the vegetation on this I'm trying to get a lot of good underbrush in there Give a little realism. Also worked on some weeds right here. I like the weeds kind of growing in random places because just kind of how the real world is. Keep going. I got the switches all lined up for you to go into the uh, warehouse, okay? Easing down the track, nice and easy. Whenever you're gonna run an operation that's small like this, and you're gonna run slow like this, one thing you want to keep in mind is definitely want to keep your tracks clean so that your engines don't stall, sputter, stop, none of the above, any of the above. Uh, so definitely want to be mindful of that. Slow down, Chanel. And... Stop. That's perfect. Do a little uncouple. 
All right, pull forward. That drops those off. So now they can unload those box cars and get them pallets on those racks and get that stuff shipped out. That's good. Roll the switch. You're lined up for this outside spur, so bring it on back. The other way. There you go. Now you're cooking. I wanted to put a marking together so that I knew where to spot the cars on the siding. So what I did, slow down. So what I did was took some tall grass, put it in the middle here, and then I put another little section of tall grass about here roughly. I made it two car links. That way I know where those cars are to be spotted and I can train my conductors when we come over for operations uh, where to spot them. Go ahead and stop Chanel, that's good. And that way you have a natural marker. <clears throat> so you don't have some funny little pole or some funny little piece of paper that you've put in between the rails because that's not very realistic change your direction there you go pull forward you done spotted those two you got two left and uh, we'll be ready to take a break and have some lunch and switching cars is hard stuff huh <laughs> All right, that's good. There we go. All right, change your direction. Looking good. Something I like to do is try to be prototypical on it, even though I'm not a master by no means of operations, but you want to line the back end of this car with a chute. That's good, Chanel. Stop. There you go. So the back of that car is lined up with the back of the chute. And you got this car hanging out, but you're clear of the switch. So when you come back in and you decide to pick up these cars on this outside siding, all right, change your direction. You can come in here on this outside siding, and you can go right on through without crashing. So those are just some little details to kind of watch for when you're doing this kind of stuff. And things to think about, food for thought. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Train Man Sorrel signing off. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And there'll be more on the way. Alright, thank you, appreciate it, and bye everybody.